Hi, this is Amanda from Amanda's Joy of Coloring. Today I'm going to test out these big intensity markers. I got two different packs. They are permanent marker and they're ultra fine. Alright, let's open these up. Sorry about the, the noise. Now I keep hearing everybody talk about these are one of their favorite markers. So I figured I'd give them a try and test them out. I just made my own little swatch card and let's just get right in here and start. They say they're ultra fine. Probably be good to get into small spaces. So that's the red. Do they have, oh, hold on, they have names for themselves, let's see, Rambunctious Red, wow, okay, and this one is Sunset Orange, Summer Melon. I don't know. Let me come up closer. Is it going to focus? Summer Melon. Focus Desert Rose. Some nice, nice colors coming out. Peach Parfait. Let's see, this one is Lime Sherbert, uh, there it goes, Lime Sherbert.
So this is in the other pack. These colors are all in one pack, and so this is the other pack. Deep Sea Blue. That's a, a dark blue. Hot Aqua. So we got a nice light blue. So with these ultra fines, we can get into those small details with the books. It's got a lot of designs. So that's those. Let me grab another card. Okay, I went and got another card. I just make these myself, so we're going to do the next one. So some green. Key lime. This one's yellow, yellow blaze. You can definitely see that better through the camera. I didn't think it was going to show up. So that's all the ones that you get. So you get a nice variety. Now I picked these up at the Dollar General. They were um, only $3.50 a pack. So I'm like, I'll just give them a try. There's some nice colors. Let's see if we can um, color a picture using those. Since they're so fine, they should be good on all these small details. Now this is the book, Stylized Animals Coloring Book. So let's just color a few and see what we can get done. I'm going to start with the red. See how they look on um, coloring paper. I'm going to see if it went through. Yes, it went through. So we're going to have to get a paper behind. Let's see, this is a cardstock, so let's see if that helps. Let's just do a couple more. Definitely goes through, but it didn't go through the back of the cardstock, so that's going to work. Let's bring you down just a little bit. I'm just going to cut in right here. I wanted to add in some information about myself and just talk a little bit. Figured it would be make the video a little bit more interesting than being so quiet. So we'll just start with my name. My name is Amanda 
Star. Star being my middle name. My parents were growing up in the 70s, so I got the, um, the middle name Star. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. That's, um, I got the stars on my hand from, I like my name, so I put the stars on my hand. And, but when I was younger, my grandma, she would call me Boo. I never really liked it when she called me Boo, but, but now I really wouldn't mind it. But, um, no matter how, no matter how old I was, she would still call me Boo. I miss her. She has already passed. Um, my aunt, she would call me uh, Mindy. But when she would write it on my card, she would write it with the two eyes. My birthday is December 19th, um, 1980. Yes, yes, I am 40 years old. Um, I don't know. I Sometimes I feel old, and then there's other times when I don't. But um, when I was younger, uh, we never really celebrated birthdays. So uh, some years we would maybe get a homemade birthday cake, but then some years... I was lucky enough if someone had told me happy birthday. It doesn't really bother me now. But that's why now I like to celebrate both my daughter's birthdays. Just a little bit more than we did before. So I throw them a, a little small party and, and get them a few gifts. And of course, you know, get them a cake. Sometimes I'll make it or we'll buy it out. Whatever whatever type of cake or cupcakes they wanted. But my sister, her birthday is um, December 12th. So the week before mine. And then my brother's birthday, his birthday is in January. So I guess my parents had too many birthdays to celebrate because they were so close together. But we had always celebrated Christmas. My parents, they would always put up a Christmas tree for Christmas and we'll decorate. And we did, we did all that and we always had gotten presents for Christmas. Um, <clears throat> sorry. My favorite colors are green. But I also do like the um, color pink. And sometimes I like to wear black a lot. It's just it's just easier to wear black. The things I like to watch on TV. I like the, the sci-fi shows and the sci-fi movies and stuff on TV. So I sit down and I would watch like the 100... And when the Stargate SG-1, I watched all those episodes when they were out. The Quantum Leap. And, of course, Doctor Who. I've seen every episode of those as well. And then Winona Earp. I watched some of hers. Uh, there's a new season out that I haven't watched yet. I'll probably go back and watch that. I watched The, the Lost a couple times. I didn't like the way that ended, but I liked watching it. The X-Files, I've seen all those shows when they were out as well. I like the um, vampire movies and shows. I've seen all the episodes of um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched the, um, the originals, True Blood with, um, what's her name, Suki. Uh, being human and then um charmed with the uh three witches and what is it the book of shadows and then highlander 
There could be only one. That was their slogan. That's an old show. And then, while well, I watch these shows, but I like uh, to watch some, eat some snacks and stuff. So, I usually sit down and eat some chips and dip. Probably the tortillas and guacamole with that. And then, uh, I like to eat, just snack on plain almonds as well. But when we go to the movies, I love the the popcorn with the white cheddar on top and butter. And then um, always get me a pack of Twizzlers as well. And then my favorite candy bar, I like the Snickers bar. Uh, when I was little and my mom worked late, she would bring us, all of us, uh, one of the Snickers bars and if we were asleep she would go in there and um wake us up and make sure we had gotten our treat so it's still my favorite candy bar but um my favorite dinner foods now I really like um barbecue the the pulled pork barbecue sandwiches and just plain pulled pork and the brisket. When I was younger, I worked at um, a barbecue restaurant. And so I, I really like the barbecue now. And uh, I worked there for several years, about three years at that barbecue place. It was all right. And then also, my other favorite food is spaghetti. I don't know. I just always like spaghetti. It's also one of my first foods I ever tried to cook was spaghetti. I don't know. It just seemed like the easiest food to cook. But now, I don't really like to cook any. It's just not my favorite thing to do. It just seems more like a chore to cook. But we still cook it every night anyway. My favorite drinks are Dr. Pepper and sweet tea. But I really can't have those types of drinks. So, but they are my favorite. But lately I've been drinking water with the flavoring packets to, to try to make the water taste a little bit better. But yeah, I could stand to lose a little bit of weight myself, but we'll just try to cut out some sugar and a few calories for right now. The things I like to do for fun. Uh, well, we all we all love to color, of course, and crafting and doing different things with my family. I like going on walks with my family and I love going to the zoo with my family now and when I was younger we would go to the zoo and camping and that are some of the best memories I have from when I was younger when we went to the zoo and camping I remember one time when we went camping and we went to the um blue ridge mountains in north carolina in the u.s it was we were riding down just in our car i don't remember what kind of car but we were just riding along the blue ridge parkway and that's just a road a scenic with all the mountains and stuff and we had stopped along the side there and there was this um deer and he that deer just let all of us pet pet him and everything it's just the sweetest little deer i think it was just a little baby deer but we all wanted to take that deer home so bad it was just the cutest little thing but we did and we left him alone he was probably just a rescue deer but yeah we we really enjoyed camping out there towards the Blue Ridge and Cherokee 
mountains in the North Carolina when we were younger. My parents would do that. But, but I don't really like going camping anymore. But I still like going to the mountains. It's really fun. Now, my all-time favorite restaurants I like to go to around here. I like to go to the, the Mexican restaurant near my house. And I also love going to the barbecue restaurants. But I haven't found a good barbecue restaurant that I really like yet. So, still keeping my eye out for that. So, But since I worked at one, I'm really picky about my barbecue. Sorry. Now, I live... I live along the Atlantic coast about five minutes to the ocean. I don't I don't really like going to the beach in the summertime, but I like going in in the spring and the fall when there's not so many people. There's too many people right now going to the beach at this time of the tourists and everybody going on vacation. I think this year there's so many people out there going on vacation since COVID. They're getting out while they can. But it's not it's not really good for me to, to go to the beach right now because of my anxiety. I have so much anxiety from just being in crowds and stuff. I have social anxiety and just regular anxiety. I have trouble talking. But I remember when I was little, the uh, first time I remember having anxiety, I was in first grade. It was very hard for me, though. But my teacher had moved me from the table that I was at, because we were at group tables, and she had moved me to a different table, and... I, it caused a lot of trouble. My mom had to go down there and talk to them. But I, they never did move me back to my other table. They said it was good for me. I don't know. But that's why I started this channel. At least one of the reasons I started this channel. Just to get myself to talk a little more. And I love to color. So why not color and talk a little bit. And learn a bit about coloring and meet new people that love to color as well i've already um met new people and talk about coloring and our videos and it's just nice to have a group of people to talk to and let's see i love crafting as well all types of crafting me and my youngest daughter uh, we do crafts together. Ruby. We like to do um, rock painting and just coloring in her coloring books and all the little crafts that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. We do those together. The little wind chimes and build your car, build your airplane. But we'll build it and then we'll paint it. She loves to paint. She loves to do the watercolor and let her pictures dry, and then she want to come back and add her glitter to everything afterwards. She loves glitter. But I used to, um, I used to make candles, and I make homemade soaps. They were, it was really fun, but it was a lot of work and a lot of steps, and then a lot of supplies to keep up with. But as I was making it and making it and making it, I ended up with so, with so many candles and soaps. So I ended up having to give away soaps as Christmas gifts and stuff. But everybody really enjoyed getting, getting them as well. So that was okay. They were excited to get their, their soap for Christmas. <laughs> but... Um, a little bit about my family. Yeah. 
I'm married to, happily married to my husband, Jason. We have um, one child together, Ruby. She has an older sister, Lindsay, and that's from my first marriage. My, my husband, he works very hard. He delivers um, packages for FedEx. So during COVID, he really got busy. Everybody was ordering stuff like crazy. Um, I don't really work, but I do. I do work on the weekends um, when Jason's sister, my husband's sister, has my daughter or the grandparents have her. But it's hard for me to just have a regular job because I can only work when they have her. So uh, I do DoorDash. I don't know if everybody knows what DoorDash is, but that's you go pick up their food from the restaurant and then drop it off at their door. It's really fun. I don't mind doing it. You just drive around and grab their food and drop off their food and repeat. It's not that bad. I make pretty good at it, but I just do it to have a little bit of spending money and to get out of the house a little bit. It's, it's better to go out and work a little bit and instead of going out and going to the stores and spending all the money. And just make a little bit. Now, my daughter Ruby, she is five. And she will be going to kindergarten this year. But we've done some things at home. We never went to, like, preschool or anything. We just worked on some things at the house together. We did school ourselves here. But she's she should be going into first grade. But she's going into kindergarten. She already knows how to read and count and add and all that stuff. But she's going to be going to a virtual online school since everything with COVID. So we figured we'll, we'll try the online school. I'm a little, little worried about it, but it seems like it's going to go okay. This next week, she's got a kindergarten camp to kind of prepare her for her class is coming up. So we'll see how that goes. My oldest daughter, she is 21. Uh, she's been working retail. She used to live with us, but now she lives, she moved out and she lives with her fiance. They had just recently got engaged not too long ago. But her father had passed away when she was four years old. Um, that making me a 24-year-old widow and a single mom all at the same time. It was very hard on me and her as well. But I don't want to go too much into that this time. If y'all are interested in that story about my first husband and my daughter's father just write a comment down below maybe i'll do a story time video about it as i color or something i don't know we'll figure it out just comment down below if you like to hear about that um, also we have two pets one cat and one dog the cat's name is um Kiki Kitty, and the dog's name is Tia Girl. We just recently got our dog. Um, she's only about 15 weeks right now, so she's still growing. She's a, a, a little snoodle. That's a um, poodle and a schnauzer mix. Uh, my favorite stores are Amazon. Of course, because you can just order something and have it at your house in a few days. And I got that Amazon Prime. And then Ollie's. I love going to Ollie's. They got 
they have um great coloring books they have other items as well and they got storybooks for me and my daughter we go and pick out a few books for her as well when we go to read we always do bedtime stories and the dollar tree is also our favorite we always pick the the small little crafts to do together there and they have the gel pens and all the extra little supplies that we can use as well so those are my three most favorite stores amazon ollie's and the dollar tree now my style i don't really like to wear makeup i ha i have worn makeup in in the past but not a lot i don't really like wearing it uh, i'm just a, a simple girl i like to wear my my black t-shirt and my my blue jeans and my tennis shoes i don't really like wearing the uncomfortable shoes just like to, a nice pair of tennis shoes to wear and my hair i just like to most times i like to throw it up in a messy bun on days i don't really like it in my face a lot but i do wear it down some when we go out um, my favorite season is is spring and fall i can't just choose one i like spring because you get to see all the beautiful butterflies and the pretty flowers and all the colors of the flowers that come out and then the smell the smells of the flowers and stuff it's just real nice and then fall when we go on our trips up to the mountains you get to see all the fall leaves and and all the colors of the leaves it's just really pretty so spring and fall are my all-time favorite seasons summer here is just way too hot for me i can't i can't handle all that heat and then right now my favorite type of ice cream i really like chocolate ice cream but sometimes i like to have the the mint chocolate ice cream as well so that's really nice and um i don't really like to drink coffee i don't like the bitter taste but i'll drink hot tea but or i'll drink coffee like the iced coffees i can drink the iced coffees really good they're okay maybe with the the whipped cream and stuff but i can't drink like the straight hot coffee my dad used to just drink the straight hot coffee with a little sugar and cream but i can't do that <laughs> that's too strong it looks like i'm about done with my picture here so we're gonna have to wrap this up just a little bit but i really enjoyed um telling y'all about myself and hopefully get to know everyone in the coloring community it's it's been really nice so far getting to know everyone and if y'all like this type of video with me talking in it, just let me know in a comment down below. Maybe I'll get to try to do a story time about things in my past. Maybe about my, my first husband or just any anything that I can come up with. If y'all like that, just um, comment and let me know what y'all like to hear about or any other questions about myself. Just... um. Put it in the comments also like and subscribe to my channel if you had not already subscribed and i appreciate every one of you who have already subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you very much thank you okay so i will be showing up here in just a few seconds in the past um i'm just going to be telling you what i did in the picture and what I colored what and and if I like the the markers and everything 
So, I hope you enjoyed, and here I am from the past. Thank you. Okay, that's the finished picture here of our giraffe. We got, we used all our big intensity uh, markers. They work really well. I got here and I decided this color looked more like a giraffe, so I went over over the pink there. But I didn't want to use all the pink because I had the same color in there, so I didn't want it, the giraffe to blend into the background. But yeah, I like these. They turned out all right. They do bleed through. And you have to watch to make sure that you don't go out of lines. You don't go so close to the lines. But yeah, they turned out real good. So I'll probably be using these in the future in other, other pictures. And I think the giraffe turned out real good. Thank you for watching my video. Comment down below if you use the big intensity uh, markers in them. If you like them. Thank you.